In our example today, we're going to look at building a flowchart based upon another user story. In this example, we're going to look at a little more complicated user story. A user should be able to input the mass and velocity of two objects. From that, they should be told which object has the higher level of kinetic energy. In our previous example, we looked at getting the kinetic energy from an object based upon its mass and its velocity. We have a formula, kinetic energy equals one-half mass times velocity squared. We're going to build a flowchart which is going to get the necessary information from the user, calculate the two kinetic energies, determine which one is greater, and tell the end user that information. So let's build this flowchart. First things first, we've already got ourselves a start terminal object. Let's work on getting our inputs. Okay. Because we're using two separate objects, we're going to need to differentiate between the different objects' masses and velocities. To do that, it's going to be real simple. I'm going to insert, choose my shapes, and choose my input parallelogram shape just like before. I can specify in because I'm getting an input, and now I'm going to say mass 1. This lets me know which object I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with my first object. I can actually copy and paste this if I want to and choose instead of mass 1 velocity 1. I can use the copy and paste to create a couple of more of my objects. In this case it will be mass 2 and velocity 2. This way I'm getting all of my inputs that I need. I can now run my calculations in the background to determine the kinetic energy of each of these objects. Because I need to calculate that information, I'm going to choose a different type of shape. I'm going to choose a rectangle, and that's going to be for my process. Similarly to how I did my inputs, specifying the first or second, I'm going to choose Ke1 as my kinetic energy for my first object and Ke2 as my kinetic energy for my second object. In this case, copy and paste again. But I'm going to make sure I'm changing all of my 1s to a 2 because I'm going from my first object to my second object. So the formula is the same, it's just I'm using different sets of data in order to calculate a different value. Now we need to do something that's just a little bit different. We need to calculate which one of our two objects has a higher kinetic energy. So we're going to use a decision block. A decision block is a diamond. I'm going to choose Insert, Shapes, and I'm going to find my diamond. You can find diamond underneath the flowchart. And I'm going to specify Ke1 greater than Ke2. By doing this, now a decision is going to have a yes or no type of question being asked. Is Ke1 bigger than Ke2? If it is not, that means the answer is false and we'll do one thing. If it is, it means it's true and we're going to do something else. Let's take a look at how we're going to handle this. Since this is going to split off, I'm going to go ahead and insert all of my flow lines real quick. Now with all my flow lines created, I can now specify which way my directions are going to go. I'm going to have a true and a false result. So what I'm going to do is I can come over here and create two new flow lines. One is going to be for my yes. Since Microsoft Word doesn't allow me to write yes and no on my flow lines, I'm going to do it a slightly different way. I'm going to come over here to my insert once again. I'm going to choose my shapes and under my recently used, and this is also a basic shape, so if you haven't recently used it, you have a chance to go and change under basic shapes. I can choose a text box. 
And over here, I'm just going to type in yes. Now, when I select off of it, my box does have a little outline around it. I can either choose to leave that or I can select it under format, choose my styles, and choose something without a background or without a uh, border around my box. So I got a couple of options. From here on my yes, I'm going to insert an output box that lets us know that yes, the first object had more kinetic energy. So I'm going to go down my shapes. I'm going to choose my parallelogram. I'm going to resize this just so it fits a little bit better. But I say object one has more Ke or kinetic energy. I don't necessarily have the exact comment that I'll use, and this is something I can change, and that's okay. I'm then going to create a flow line. That's going to be what if the answer was no. So once again, I'm going to come over here and select a new text box. No. I want to make sure that my no and my yes boxes are close to my flow lines. That way it's very clear which one goes with which. In some cases, you'll see people actually move this no box to the other side of my flow line. That way there can be absolutely zero uh, confusion between which is a yes and which is a no. Now that, that is done, I'm going to create another input output box. Specify out for output once again. And object 2 has greater KE. Now that is if KE1 is greater than KE2 returns a false result. Now we could have a special situation. One where both objects have the same amount of kinetic energy. Given all the possible variables, that would be rare, but it would be worth testing for if that was important. In our case, we would have to create another decision box to check for the equality of those two kinetic energies. In this example, for simplicity's sake, we're going to assume that of all the numbers that it could possibly be, equality is not going to happen. Therefore, we'll be happy with our two output boxes. However, we are not quite done yet. We need one last box, and that is our end terminal. So what I'm going to do is choose to insert one more shape. It's going to be another terminal, or as Microsoft Word calls it, terminator shape. And we're going to specify end. And the way we're going to get to end is going to be dependent upon which box we come out of. So once again, under insert, and choose a line. And if object one has more, I have one line that comes down from it. Or if object two is greater, I can have one line that comes out of it. In both cases, we're going to our in terminal. In a perfect world, we'll always have two terminal objects, one for start and one for end. Now, in reality, a lot of times we have multiple end statements, but whenever possible, we're going to try to have just one, and this is a perfect example of how we create this. Notice that all of our flow lines are on a 90-degree angle. They're either up and down or moving left and right. That's what we want to have. Sometimes a flow line will have a turn in it. Those turns, we try to always keep them at 90-degree angles, once again, just to make it a little bit easier to read. So this is how we create a simple flowchart where we're going to output the answer between two objects and try to determine which one has a greater kinetic energy. We did this by introducing our decision block using a diamond and labeling our flow lines yes or no, depending upon what the result was, and giving two different outputs based upon those results.